Chicago author Owen Kean has been on the show four previous times talking about his books on the Windy City Gays history. We've learned about the man's country bathhouse, his book of four queer plays of social distance, another about LGBTQ plus icons in the arts, and the Chicago AIDS Garden. He's got another book out, and he's here to talk about it. Come on in, Owen Keenan. Hi, Amber. Hi, Hi, Owen. So, okay, we've got a clip to tell us about that book. So let's run that, Russell. Right on. My eyes were bulging at a few of those uh, <laughs> uh, 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 pictures there. Tell me, what's the premise of the book? Um, well, when I wrote this book, I really wanted it to be a love letter to a lot of the gay pulp fiction I grew up reading that was just sexy and just twisted and fun and combine that with sort of the novels of like Jacqueline Suzanne and Harold Robbins and uh, Gordon Merrick um, as a gay author. And I just really, I didn't want to do any kind of parody about it because I just admired those books and just thought they were so much fun. And uh, I really just wanted to create that. And have a lot of good sex in it. I put a lot of sex into it. <laughs> I want to know what gay novels or what gay stories were you reading growing up? Because I couldn't find any. No, I just, I meant like more the, um, not growing up, but I mean, just as a, as a young man, like the just gay pulps. Here's a, okay. This is one that had a big, this is about, this is Tories. This is, this is a little uh, more story in it oriented than a lot of them. Um, it's about a gay disco. But anyway, so it's all the uh, all the sort of goings on and the interpersonal relationships and the romances and just all of those sort of overwrought core emotions. I just really wanted to have fun with it. And um, I came away with such a deep respect for the genre. It was really difficult to write. Like when and where is the premise of, that it takes oh, place? Well, I wanted to, the setting, I made it in a gay porn studio called Exclusive. So I wanted to have it be an environment where the sex would be very much part of the story and still give it like the Jackie Suzanne, like, career oriented kind of, you know, doing anything to get ahead vibe to it at the same time. So. So what experience have you had in porn studios? Well, I, years ago, I wrote um, several books on called stars with a Z more stars, uh, ultimate stars and rising stars. There were four of them and there are four books of interviews with gay porn stars. And those are probably from like the early 2000s. <laughs> it was, it was, it's always been like a, a lot of fun. I, I just really wanted to do this book and sort of blend all those things together. In so tell of, us about, tell us about and, the protagonist and the antagonist in the, in the story. Oh, okay. Um, well, the, the protagonist is a guy called Vincent and he has a horrible breakup and he decides to remake himself 
and he starts being coming very impressed with the makeover. And he one thing leads to another, and he gets an offer from a porn studio, and he's remade as Vinnie Lux, who's one of the new exclusive exclusives. And then he has to sort of navigate his way through what turns out to be a suspense murder thriller. But at its core, it's sort of a big, sexy soap opera. <laughs> well, that's great, Owen. All right. This one's in, in the can, so to speak. It's so, out in the, uh, yep. So what are you writing now? What, what are you working on? What the, the publisher that did this, Rattling Good Yarns Press, um, also is doing my Man's Country book. So right now I'm editing uh, Man's Country More Than a Bathhouse about the legendary bathhouse that was here in Chicago for 45 years. Yes, we talked about that on yeah. an earlier yeah. show. Yes. So it's sort of coming around again with, with editing that. Um, and then I want to write something that's kind of like, I don't know if you know these, but Samuel Stewart wrote a series of books as Phil Andros. And what they are, are these sort of like, it follows um, a main character who is kind of sexually explores a city at a certain time. So what it is, is like my idea was for to make it into a kind of time travel. So in other words, it would be like, if this main character were to come to Chicago in 1975, this is the experience he would have. So sort of recreating history, but doing it in a fictional context to sort of teach history and maybe a little bit of a more um, exciting way for, for adults who want to learn about history well, without being beaten over the head with it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Owen, for coming back oh, and telling us about that book. Sure. And I'm sure it's already on someone's list to, to read. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice seeing thank you again you. for the fifth time, Owen. All right. Congratulations <laughs> on your fourth season. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much.